Hello everyone, welcome to the Glory Room of Prophet Slew. Before we get started, we will pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for today. Thank you for life, health, and strength, Father God. We thank you for allowing us to see another day. Holy Spirit, we welcome you to, in, to welcome you into this podcast. We ask you to pour out to us wisdom and knowledge. We ask you to give us understanding of what you're trying to say to us. We ask you to help us apply it to our day. Father God, we ask you to bless the hearers and the readers of your word. We ask you to help us be doers as well, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So the verse of the day is Luke 6, 4, and 5. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart. An evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what is what the heart is full of. Subject, speak to the mountain. Christian truth, so I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it. I'm speaking to my mountain. I'm stronger than what I think. I am a soldier. I am a warrior. When I was younger, my parents always told us to speak positive and to have a, have faith in God. A lot of times as I got older, I realized that my life was full of negative things because I allowed other people to convince me that I didn't deserve to be happy or my life wasn't great. And at the time, I didn't realize that because of what was said to me, I allowed that to affect my mindset on how I felt about myself in my life. I started to feel that I didn't deserve anything, but what I was, but what I was given. As I gave myself to God, I realized that I have what I speak in my mind. Because when we speak negative things over our life, this allows the enemy to have an an, an invitation to our mind and heart. So how do we deny the enemy entry into our lives? By speaking the word of God over our lives. By reading the word of God and allowing the word of God to pierce even the divining center of soul and spirit of the joints and marrow. And is a descender of the the sender, the sun, the sender of the thoughts and the intents of our hearts. When we allow the word of God to do this, we gain power over the adversary. Proverbs 15 and 4 says the, the soothing tongue is a tree of life, but preserved preserve tongue crushes the spirit. It says here, when our tongues are smooth, we have a, have the tree of life. But when we have a perverse tongue, meaning a deceitful tongue, it crushes us. It crushes the, the life that Jesus is trying to give us and plant a life of misery that that's where depression comes in. Anxiety becomes instead of us feeding the spirit man, we are feeding the things that come along with depression, anxiety. The Holy Spirit wants us to know that our lives can be filled with good things when we yield to him. When we start speaking his word to the things in our lives that won't move. We must speak to the mountains that block our happiness. We must speak to the dark valleys and say, I see, I see because God allowed me to see. We must speak to the fog that's in our head and say, you don't exist. I rebuke you in Jesus name. When we start putting the power of God, power back in God's hands, then, then and only then we can walk in the authority he has given us. Ephesians, at Ecclesiastes, I'm sorry, 10 and 12, words from the mouth of the wise are gracious, but fools are consumed by their own lips. We can say all day that what we say and do is gracious, but until we have the, the Lord to touch our speech and speak to our broken hearts and our minds, we can't speak of grace and wisdom. The only thing we are doing is speaking from our foolish mind. Give your mind to God every day. Allow him to renew you so you can speak life. Because as as long as your mind is closed off and your heart is dead, you can't speak life to anything. You can't ask the mountains to move. Jesus once said in Matthew 17 and 20, he replied, because you have so little faith. Truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mountain seed, a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there. It will move and nothing will be impossible for you. He says that as long as we have faith, we can tell the mountain to move and they will move. He said nothing is impossible for us as long as we have faith. We must have faith that he will renew our minds so that we can have faith to move mountains. Speak in faith that God hears you. Speak in faith that you're free from the hardship of your mind. But as long as you say negative things, you are causing your mind to stay in the enemy's hands. Believe in God today and he will set you free. Today, the Holy Spirit wants 
us to understand that God has given us the power to speak against the enemy. When we walk in God, we have the authority over everything in our lives. We have the authority to rebuke any and everything, every, everything spirit, a spirit that comes against us. But we must walk in the light of God. Don't entertain what the enemy says and whispers in your ear. Don't even entertain the people he send your way because as long as we entertain the enemy, the longer he will stay. Rebuke him in his traps and don't fall prey to him. Prayer. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful grateful we, we for everything you have given us in every journey we are on. Lord, help us to be more loving and caring. Help us to be more like you and focus on every it, Focus on fighting a war that the enemy wants to bring to us. Help us to put on the whole armor of God and not just to wear it when we need it, but at all times. We ask today that you rebuke the spirit of anxiety, depression, and suicidal thoughts out of our head and send it back to the pits of hell hell we claim victory over the attacks that we are suffering lord we're grateful for everything in jesus mighty name amen reference proverbs 18 21 death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruits proverbs 18 21 colossians 3 and 8 but now you must put them away anger wrath malice slander and obscene talk from your mouth proverbs 15 and 4 kind words heal and help cutting words wounds and maim uh, Proverbs 15 and 4, further reading, Genesis 11 and 1 through 13 and 4, Matthews 15 and 1 through 26, Psalms 5, 1 through 12, and Proverbs 1, 24, 28. This ends, speak to your mountain. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Be blessed. Thank you for listening.